Hey folks, it's Florida Deer. So this is today's project, which will be uh, taking care of this large tree that fell down almost two months ago. And it's a pretty sizable tree. I don't know if you can really check the width of this in the video, but we're going to chop it up with the steel chainsaw and then use the grapple to clean up once we're done so stick with us and we'll get going so this is my steel ms250 chainsaw i've had this chainsaw for about five years now and it's worked out pretty good for me i would say it's uh, pretty close to an ideal size for a homeowner uh, type chainsaw and of course what i'm trying to do here i think is sort of like the difficult or scariest part of the job where you're trying to uh, chop up the tree in a number of pieces, but you're also trying to untension the tree as you can see some of these limbs are You know the tree is resting on some of these limbs So we're trying to figure out how to you know release that tension without you know becoming part of the uh, goofy uh, you know video reel of uh, people You know cutting down trees that shouldn't be cutting down trees. I suppose you know they don't have the knowledge to do it or whatever not that I'm You know professionally trained or anything, but I'm try to approach this with a fair amount of caution knowing uh, what can happen you know a, a in real life but also you know seeing enough of those videos you don't want to become part of one of those videos I guess is what I'd say so uh, this this part of the the job went relatively smooth so I didn't really have any complaints there wasn't anything too scary there was a uh, one sort of very minor close call on something but that was about it As I watch this video, I see where the chainsaw is sitting, which is probably not an ideal location for the chainsaw. Sort of out in the, not really the middle of the field there, but close enough to where you can end up hitting it. Now, through the whole, you know, process in this job, I, I ended up not damaging the chainsaw in any way. But uh, it was as I watch this video, kind of a little bit of a concern as I'm like, geez, why didn't I tuck that thing away, you know, somewhere a little safer or whatever. And if you pay attention to my videos, you can see now I'm having to wear a knee brace on my left knee and I'm actually going to get a knee brace from my right knee too, which is sort of a bummer. I'm trying to stave off some, you know, potential knee surgery, you know, to a little bit further down the line. I refuse uh, to to get any surgeries, you know, I'm not even 50 yet, so I feel like I I shouldn't have to do that yet anyway. And that may, I may prove right about that or I may not. And uh, coming up here too is I'm trying to do like a picture in picture of, of two, you know, two angles of the same job. And I don't have them exactly lined up, but you can see that, that I'm pretty close here. And uh, it was actually the first time, this was the first job I've ever done using a GoPro. Oddly enough, neither of these angles are actually from the GoPro. One is my neighbor shooting uh, from her camera, which is the picture in picture one. And then I'm actually shooting uh, this other angle from the big picture with the uh, iPhone. So I'm trying to get our work area a little more cleared up here. We're trying to stack the wood in like sort of big, medium, and small size things. And then as you can see here, it's a pretty sizable piece of, of the limb that actually went into the ground. And not only that far, but also, you know, that wide a, a piece of limb. So it was quite an impact when it happened. So one of my hangups in waiting so long to get the grapple was I figured that the pallet forks could often do much of what the grapple could do. But what you're about to see here, as we're about to go picture in picture again, is that the grapple can not just take things from point A to point B. It can also snag things out of a mess and pull them away from, you know, entangled branches and 
limbs like it's doing right here, which is making the rest of the job easier, and that's something pallet forks can't do. So grapple one, pallet fork zero here. So we've gotten quite a bit knocked out, but now I think it gets a little more tricky as we've cleared out things. Now we've got these really bigger branches left over. Obviously that one goes right into the ground, probably holding a lot of that up along with that spot right there. Then we got other pieces of wood here, metal gate, this bamboo to deal with. And then the tree goes way up into there. So this will be interesting as things go on. And we finally have some GoPro angles here for you in the operation of the grapple. And I do have a couple different angles. I put it on, on the lower end of the other side of the tractor a little bit later and you'll see one shot where it's basically almost up on the grapple you know which may or may not have been a, a good advertisement for my buddy let me borrow the the uh, GoPro 10 but in any case uh, I didn't uh, you know, I didn't break it or damage it in any way so I think everything turned out pretty well
So this is just another example of the grapples snatch and grab capability where there's just a mess of these limbs that have laid over in this uh, one you know on top of each other and also in the bamboo and there, I think there was another tree involved as well and to have to get up in there and try to cut up and you know be in a secure position with good footing and stuff like that it, it was going to be hard to do so the fact that I could just go in there with the grapple and grab the ends of the logs and or the you know branches whatever you want to call them and pull them out was hugely helpful to doing uh, this job I mean it was just so much better than having to try to establish you know work zone up in that mess so and then there's the chainsaw again you know precariously positioned in the work site and I end up you know again not damaging it somehow I mean I certainly saw it every time I passed it it's not like uh, that was the case but I've seen people run over them with their tractors I've seen people drop you know trees on chainsaws when they have multiple chainsaws running and that was another thing you know earlier chopping up the chain or chopping up the the branches I had to be real careful not to pinch my saw because we did not have another saw to unpinch my saw you know to release the tree in another location to get out the saw so uh, when you saw me earlier I was you know being a little easy as I get closer to the edge you know the end of uh, you know having to deal with that so that was part of the deal too and as mentioned earlier you know I, I think Nina put her little um, uh, tractor cover over the the X320 there and uh, made it almost right so anyways we're just dumping the stuff there so we can cut them up and then stack them over in the other areas that we have designated you know small medium and large branches so in case any of you are wondering when I don't have the rear PTO or the mid PTO for that matter uh, running I generally will run the tractor around 2500 to 2800 RPM I figure that's a good RPM range to be in not super uh, wide open although I don't have a problem with running wide open other than it's just not necessary at certain times when you're not having to carry a lot of speed or run either of the PTOs certainly when you're running the PTOs you know you want to be running at full you know wide open throttle uh, because that's what the that's what the you know the owner's manual says that's how the tractor is designed to to operate but you know just doing this stuff as long as I'm getting the adequate hydraulic flow you know to and from the cylinders and uh, you know tractors not bogging down as you can see a couple times I end up do I end up you know shifting into you know low gear to pull something out of here and I think earlier in the in the uh, video I did that and that's one of those things that you just gotta be conscious about you know you don't wanna you know your transmission whining too much if it's whining too much and you, you know you're in a high gear you know you're taxing or you don't have the hydraulic flow that you need to really have the tractor operating at, at you know peak peak uh, efficiency so anyway uh, we're gonna get more of this cleaned up here at the risk of complaining or the risk of bragging I will tell you that while we started the day in the 60s it ended up being closer to I want to say 82 or 83 by the time we finished the project so that was kind of a bummer it was January 1st and the other bummer was it took me you know two months to get over there between her schedules and my busy schedule uh, but we were able to finally get this this job done and her her brother Eric had come over to help as well and uh, what made the, the the job nice was that I got to just operate my equipment you know which was the chainsaw and the tractor and the grapple and they did most of the other cleanup, the small chopping up. You know, if I would go and move the bigger pieces around and chop up the bigger pieces, they took care of everything else. They were loading stuff up to the street with the truck. And, and so I didn't have to deal with any of that. I stayed focused on, you know, just running my equipment. And they're, they were, you know, not the type of uh, neighbors and family that you have to kind of direct to do stuff. 
and I, of course naturally I like working with people like that so then I'm not having to you know manage the whole situation I can just kind of be doing my thing and then they intuitively know how to handle their end of the deal so that worked out well and we're ripping out the the last bits of the tree out of the bamboo here and the bamboo was re really sort of a pain in the butt uh, it just the, the way it, it, it breaks and doesn't fully break and it, it, it can be a mess so once I I didn't really have this thought at the beginning of the day using the the grapple to yank the stuff out of there but that was a real game changer because I just you know as mentioned before I really didn't want to get in there to try to saw stuff up and then have you know a, you know errant piece of you know unreleased or you know released uh, bamboo you know hit me you know where I didn't want it to hit me you know and uh, it was because it wasn't just you know the tree that was in there pushing down on this stuff with some level of tension but as you can see as we're taking out these pieces of uh, the tree and the limbs and stuff you're seeing the you know some of the bamboo sort of reposition itself as well so all in all it was a pretty good day and I really have no complaints uh, like I said everything worked pretty well the grapple was better than I expected and doing the jobs that it needed to do uh, chainsaw stayed you know nice and tight no jams on that and it really ended up being a pretty good work day and I uh, felt like we got a lot done I wish I had panned around a little bit better at the end so you could see the cleanup job that Eric had done on the whole site and we'll get back later with a you know like maybe a giant chainsaw to take care of the rest of that tree and she can offer some of this uh, wood to uh, neighbors if they want to come and get it and take on off her hands so anyway uh, we're almost to the end here So it's about three o'clock and that we won't be tackling today without a much larger chainsaw. I did cut off one piece as you can see, but that was hardly an ideal way to do it with a homeowner size 18 inch steel chainsaw. We had to move those boards, which I mentioned earlier, but all the stuff's out of there. Now she's got to fix that fence right there. So. So here's Nina's dogs. <laughs> I had to get them in the uh, in the shots there since you guys are calling them away. Okay. Here's our finished work done here, and they put a bunch of stuff up front as well. So it cleaned up pretty nicely. So she's still got some work with the big stump. Figure out how to do that, but you know. It's done for the most part. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you wanted to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.